Recognizing Patients with Complex Sleep Apnea Undiagnosed or incompletely treated complex sleep apnea patients frequently continue to experience central events while on CPAP or bilevel therapy. These patients often get frustrated with their therapy because they continue to have symptoms such as fatigue, sleepiness, headaches, and irritability. This can lead a patient to stop therapy altogether because they view it as ineffective. Properly diagnosing and scripting the right treatment is essential for treating patients effectively. But how do you recognize this condition? It is best to identify complex sleep apnea during a patient's titration study. When identified up front, the condition can be treated appropriately, thus maximizing the patient's chance for success. OSA patients currently on therapy in the home who are having residual symptoms and respiratory events should be evaluated for complex sleep apnea. The only way to get a definitive diagnosis is through a sleep study or PSG. We will now examine PSG segments typical of complex sleep apnea. First, an overview of the charts you'll be shown. The first signal on the PSG charts is flow. Flow is generally measured with nasal prongs or a thermistor. The second signal is thoracic effort and shows when a patient is making an effort to breathe. The third signal is abdominal effort and also shows patient effort to breathe. The fourth signal is oxygen saturation and is used to measure how well the patient is ventilated. Following an apnea, oxygen levels are reduced. During the diagnostic phase, the PSG data of a complex sleep apnea patient is very similar to that of an OSA patient. The PSG segment highlighted shows an obstructive apnea that occurred during the diagnostic portion of the study. Note the absence of flow while the breathing effort represented in the thoracic and abdominal effort traces continue. The airway is closed, preventing the flow of air. When obstructive events occur during the diagnostic study, the patient is placed on continuous positive airway pressure therapy, or CPAP, for the titration portion of the study. CPAP therapy is very effective in treating obstructive sleep apnea. In a complex sleep apnea patient, however, central apneas often begin to occur or increase before the obstructive events can be fully eliminated. The highlighted segment of the PSG shows a central apnea that occurred after CPAP was applied on the patient. Cessation of flow followed by a desaturation indicates an apnea. In this case, however, the lack of effort shows that there is no effort to breathe, indicating a central apnea. Complex sleep apnea patients tend to have more events during non-REM sleep and increased stability during REM. Here is an example of a complex sleep apnea patient in non-REM sleep. Note the apneic events. Here is an example of a patient in REM. Note the stability and absence of apneic events. Understanding the characteristics of complex sleep apnea is the first step in recognizing and treating the condition.